If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Monday, March 17th, 2014. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Joining me today in the Finis Monitor will be East Carolina's Megan Sellers. Not only is she the only swimmer from the school going to the NCAA Division I Women's Swimming Championships later this week, but she's the first swimmer from East Carolina to get an invite in eight years. And Megan joins us now via Skype from Greenville, North Carolina. Hey Megan, it's great to see you. How are you? Great, how are you? I'm doing excellent. Congratulations on uh, getting to NCAAs. Thank you so much. So you're the first East Carolina swimmer to make NCAAs in eight years. How does it feel to have that honor? Um, it's an amazing honor. I mean, I didn't even realize it's been that long until I made it. Everyone was like, it's been eight years. You know, Rebecca Berry was the last one. So, I mean, it's, it's an awesome honor. I'm really, really proud of myself. Where were you when you found out that you got invited to NCAAs? Um, well, after my final swim at conference, my coach kind of hinted at me that it was like 80% sure I was going. So, And then on Monday, I was kind of like, kind of found out I was, um, I don't even know where I was. I was in my room, I think. My coach texted me. Pretty, pretty just low key for a big big prestigious invite. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, so 10042 is your entry time for the 100 breasts, a big swim there from the Conference USA Championships. Last year, your best time was a 10420. So I want your secret here. How do you drop four seconds in a year? Um, good question. <laughs> um, probably, honestly, I think it was Kevin, my coach, Kevin Woodhall Smith. Um, cause last year I had a different coach and I had different training and I was still kind of getting used to, you know, being a freshman in college swimming. And this year, I think I came into the season with more, like I knew what to expect and Kevin kind of just took it from there. <laughs> well, tell me what you and, and Kevin did in this year. I mean, still four seconds. I mean, it, it's one thing <laughs> to say, you know, you're just making the transition, you're more comfortable. But, you know, there's obviously something really big that you guys did. Or maybe it was just a dynamic between you two made you feel a little bit better in training? Um, I think, like, his perspective on swimming is a lot different than other coaches. You know, a lot of coaches are yards, yards, yards. And I think Kevin focuses more on, like, intensity than yardage. And I guess, you know, like, work hard where it counts, not, not – it's like quantity over quality, I guess. Or quality over quantity. Okay, okay. So, obviously, uh, when you get to NCAA, is a sub one minute is the goal. You're only about four tenths away. What can you do to make that happen? Um, you know, this season, I don't know if it's going to be possible. Hopefully it is. But, you know, coming off of taper a couple weeks ago because of conference, um, you know, it's kind of hard to build back up and then go back down. But if not this year, definitely next year for sure. Is, is the goal here just to get the experience? Is that what you guys are talking about? Or is it, you know, maybe we can even get a second swim? <laughs> um, you know, that'd be great if I got a second swim, but I personally, I don't know if that's going to happen. But this year is more of experience just because I'm a sophomore. It's all new to me. I wasn't ever expecting to make it. But, you know, hopefully I'll get good experience this year so that next year I can do a lot better. Roka Sapoulis, who's on the men's team, is also going to the NCAA championships. He's going in the 200 breaststroke, so it seems to me that East Carolina is the place to go for a breaststroke. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that right now. <laughs> so tell me, do you, do, you, do, you and, do you and Rokas ever train together? Um, yeah, we do. We were in the same group all year with Kevin, and um, we were in the same group last year. Uh, I really like practicing with Rokas because he... I guess he kind of pushes me a little bit, even though I can't always keep up with him. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously, but I mean, it, it's it's got to be some somewhat inspiring to know that 
not only for him, but the girl that he's been training next to every day gets to go to the NCAAs, and now that the guy that you've been training next to every day gets to go to the NCAAs. So I would imagine this is going to carry over to some really um, great breaststroke training next year. Definitely, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. So you're from the Chicago area, um, not too far from Minneapolis. Are you going to have a lot of family coming to watch you swim? Um, just my mom and my dad and my brother. It's about like six hours away, so. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and even though you found out, you know, a couple weeks before the meet, it's still a little bit of short notice to get everybody yeah. involved. Well, that's cool. Are they going to fly or are they going to drive out there? They're going to drive. Okay, that's probably good. But you gotta you gotta give the give them a second swim so they don't you know, <laughs> make it a little more worthwhile. No pressure on you, but I'm sure that would be great. Well, I know you got to get to uh, get to work out. Got to get all those um, fine tuning in for NCAA's before you take off. So um, before we let you go, we want to submit you to our final five. These are five questions we ask all of our guests on the morning swim show. So the first question is, if you could change the order of strokes in the individual medley, how would you change it? Um, <laughs> probably breaststroke, then freestyle, then backstroke, then butterfly. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so re almost reverse order. Yeah, almost reverse. Okay. Um, what's a career or job you know you would like to try? A career job? Career or job. Um, in like an ideal situation or just like... Ideal, fantasy job, whatever. Fantasy job, okay. Um... Being a wedding planner, but I don't know if that's going to work out. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that. It would be a pretty fun job. Um, on the other side of that, what's a career or job you know you would not like to try? Being a firefighter. <laughs> okay, that's understandable. If you could change or add any of the rules in the swimming rule book, what would it be? That you could do flip turns and breaststroke. Yeah, interesting, interesting. And last question before you, Megan. Where would you like to go for vacation? Where would I like to go for vacation? Um, probably California. I've never been there before. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hope, well, you know, you got nationals coming up in, in the summer, so there's a reason yeah, to go to hopefully, California. Yeah, I'll go to that. <laughs> I'm yeah. not sure. That would be a great, that would be a great first trip to California. Get to go to senior yeah. nationals. All right, Megan, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations again on NCAAs, and um, good luck in Minneapolis. Thank you so much. All right, so thank you very much for joining us today on the Morning Swim Show. Swimming World will be providing extensive coverage of the Women's NCAA Championships on multiple platforms. So be sure to check with SwimmingWorld.com for recaps, SwimmingWorld.tv for video interviews, and our social media pages for up-to-the-minute details. That's going to do it for today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.